Number 33. Suppose you stand with one foot on ceramic flooring and one foot on a wool carpet, making contact over an area of 80 squared centimeters with each foot. Both the ceramic and the carpet are two centimeters thick and are 10 degrees Celsius on their bottom sides. At what rate must heat transfer occur from each foot to keep the top of the ceramic and carpet at 33 degrees Celsius? All right. So uh, just take a look at the picture, guys. We have two cases, ceramic and wool. Okay. And the bottom, you know, both are two centimeters thick. Pretend you're placing your foot on the blue surface and your foot is a square or a rectangle. Um, and that's, you know, your foot's going to occupy that whole uh, area at the top of each. The bottom then of the slabs of ceramic here and wool are going to be 10 degrees Celsius. And then the top where your foot is, is wants to be maintained at 33 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, because that's, you know, basically uh, the an appropriate temperature for the external your uh, external skin okay or the ex I, your skin is not external to you but your you're the external most part of your skin the, the part that touches surfaces okay because it's five layers to the skin right so um okay so now basically what we need to do is calculate the rate that must be transferred on each so anytime they start talking about rates okay you know it's power you know heat Rate of heat transfer, rate of energy transfer is always power. And power is equal to energy per time. And in this chapter, energy has the letter Q because it's heat energy. And then we're talking about time. So if you look over here, this is a power value, okay? And you also have to know the nature of the type of heat transfer that's occurring here. When you have two objects touching, when you have material touching one another, as such your foot is placed on the ceramic or your foot is placed on wool, that is a conduction heat transfer. Okay, so I'm going to be using this conduction heat transfer formula. Instead of writing Q over T, I'm just going to write power. Okay, is equal to then the uh, thermal constant multiplied by the area over which that conduction is occurring, then multiplied by the temperature difference across the two surfaces, divided then by the thickness or the distance between those two temperatures. All right, so now basically... What I need to do is calculate this for both, okay? And the only, you know, both of these are constant, right? The area for each is constant, the temperature change was constant, and the thickness is constant. The only way it's going to change between the two is the K value. And if you notice, ceramic is higher than wool, okay? So that means that the power is going to be greater. So let's just calculate it quickly, okay? So this is 0.84 times then, uh, times in the area, of what did we what did they give us where am i 80 square centimeters but we need to convert that into square meters right so we have to basically take this 80 and then divide it by 100 squared multiply that then by the temperature difference i don't care if you take the bigger minus the smaller or the smaller minus the bigger it's just going to be a difference in sign but the magnitude is going to be the same i like to take the larger uh, and then subtract out the smaller just so i don't have to work with negatives but it doesn't really matter and then at the end i'll consider if it should be negative or not just by, because if heat is lost, it's negative, right? Or if the rate of, if, if the rate, um, well, if heat is lost and the rate is also negative too, right? So, uh, or if the heat is gained, if energy is gained, then the rate of that heat energy gain is positive. And then the distance here is going to be two centimeters. So again, I have to divide that by 100 in order to convert that into meters. So let's calculate power. So here, this is, by the way, specifically for ceramic. If you were to look this up in the book, it doesn't say it's for concrete block, but ceramic materials like tile is actually very similar to uh, cement. So they, they should have very similar values. So we can use that as, a, as an approximation. So 0.84 multiplied by 80 divided by 100 squared, then multiplied now by 30, 30 sorry, 33 minus 10. And then divide that now by 2 over 100. And we get about 7.73 or so. 7.73. And that is watts, right? So that is in watts. Okay. So that's what the rate of heat loss is like um, when you put your foot on ceramic. Okay. Or basically tile. Now, how about if it's on carpet? Okay, so I'll, I'll write this as wool, which is basically the carpet. So it's the same calculation, just substitute out the 0.84 for now the 0.04, all right? So let's do that, 0 0.04 times then 80 divided by 100 squared, then multiplied by now 33 minus 10, 
and then divide that now by 2 over 100. And here we get a value of about 0 0.368. 368, and that's in watts. So, if you notice, the rate of heat transfer is lower when you're standing on carpet than when you're standing on tile or ceramic. Now, I posed the question before, I think it was number 30 or 31, and I had asked you, why does your foot feel colder on tile, let's say, than on wood or on carpet, so on and so forth? I asked, is it because the, the tile is a different temperature? And that would be the wrong, that would not be correct. The tile should be at the same temperature. Think about it, the tile sitting in the room for hours and hours and hours. How is that tile colder than anything else in the room, right? They're all the same temperature. But the reason why the tile feels colder is because the tile pulls more heat out of your foot, right? The tile conducts heat better. And therefore, as soon as you place your foot on top of the tile, think about it like a, like a heat vacuum. The tile sucks that energy out of your foot faster than the rate at which wool will suck that energy out of your foot. Okay, that's why it feels colder. It isn't actually colder. Okay, and hence why sometimes relying on senses isn't exactly the best way to answer a question. Because you might say, well, it feels colder, so therefore it's colder. Well, not exactly. It's not colder. The tile is the same temperature as the carpet. It's the rate of heat transfer that's important. The rate. Keep that in mind. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope this video helped. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.